Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be going over the number one Nocturne mid player in the world. Currently ranked 50 on the Korean server. Just look at these stats. 70% win rate with Nocturne mid. 1000 LP with a 70% overall win rate in Korean challenger. This guy is crazy. This guy is absurd. Mogu baby. I don't know who he is. But his Nocturne is delicious. And today we're going to be going over breaking down how you guys can copy this. In the mid lane. Nocturne is so strong at the moment. I don't know why people aren't spamming him. He's so easy to play. Such good wave clear. Brain dead. Play him. You will climb. Period. Before we hit the rift guys. If you're looking for a brand new gaming PC. Look no further. Me and a couple of creators were doing a giveaway. I'll put a link on how to enter in the description below. Hitting the rift now guys. This guy plays like an absolute psychopath level 1. Just watch. Puts his Q down. You want to fight on your Q as it chases them. And look to get a solo kill. You can see Renekton actually almost gets him there with the Ignite. I can't think of a worse 1v1-er, um, a 1v1 to take than into a Renekton early. But he just decides, fuck it, man. I'm going to go for it. He has that lethal tempo. He pops the Ignite here. And he gets that kill. How easy is that? He plays like a psycho every game like this. He almost always, every game or every second game, gets a solo kill early on. You don't have to wait till level 6 to get kills onto the Nocturne. If you miss the rune page, it was lethal tempo. Very important. He wants to get as many autos as he can. Lethal tempo after you do your first auto, guys. Um, you're going to be getting a bunch of extra attack speed. And you can just run through their health bar. And you'll see how important this is at level 6 when he starts looking for these all-ins. Secondary, he goes for ultimate hunter. Obviously, it decreases your ultimate cooldown. And with Nocturne, with a global ult, I mean, it, it just makes sense. Early game, you're looking for the, uh, I believe the item is called Tiamat. And we're looking to hard shove the lane and roam to the side lanes. It's not that the mid lane kills aren't there. Yes, you can get mid lane kills. Um, but having that shove and that, and that easy accessibility into the side lanes when the mid lane shoved, it just helps you get so many good ults and pressure the map, especially for your jungle if you want to look for an invade. Let's see how he moves into the, the lane now. You want to go Q first, guys. You want to go E second. Sometimes W, if you're into something spicy like a Syndra, who might try and poke you down. Of course, your W is a spell shield. And then pretty much the combo is you Q onto them, so it's going to track them. You put your E, which is your tether, onto them, which is going to fear them after a brief period. You want to use your W to avoid their all-in. So, like, Renekton's going to try and stun you. You just W his stun and run him down. He's feared, then you all-in. It's a pretty straightforward champion. It's not that hard. Your passive is an AoE. It's going to give you health and it's going to um, hit several targets on your auto attack. So just be aware it's kind of hard to freeze when you're playing Nocturne mid. But of course your goal shouldn't be to freeze almost ever on Nocturne. You're looking to hard shove roam, get 1v1s, get solo kills. I love this pick into like Zoe. I love it into Syndra, Talia, any immobile control mage. It is, like, you can't counteract it. Because you'll pop into the side lane in the mid game, right? And then if they come to the side lane, you ultimate and they're dead because you spell shield. So broken, so fun to play. Let's see how he does this skirmish. What is going on? Renekton drops. He'll move into the mid lane, get a hard shove, probably get a tier mat. We hard shoving this or what? Cue the wave, move up. Move up into the middle, wait for your passive. Boom, passive. Look at that. When you get that team out, that's a one-shot clear as an AD champion. It's gross. He sometimes goes teleport. It really depends on the matchups. I would recommend to all of you to go ignite. Go really aggressive. Play a couple of normal games to limit test. Understand the, your damage numbers and then just start looking in your solo queue games to demolish people early on because they do not... It's, I don't know why they underestimate Nocturne's damage. It's so gross. So he has the tier mat now. You all will be disgusted with how easy it is to clear the wave. And he's still a little bit off level 6, so... He's going to be in the mid lane for a while longer. But this Renekton has the bone plating, which makes it, like, it's very hard to get these kills. As he gets the tether, he doesn't get the W onto the stun. If he got that and chased him down for the fear, it would have been a bad time. And you can see with the lethal tempo cooldown, when that's up, he goes for it. You're almost never going to lose your trades. He just moves in, pops the ignite. 
I'm pretty sure this guy dies. Free and challenger, by the way. He just makes it look so easy because these people aren't respecting his combos. Q backwards. So your Q gives you extra attack damage to get on the tower. But also you can move out of it if you get jungle ganked. If somebody comes to you because you're getting movement speed on it as well. Level 6 now. He possibly could look. There's somebody on the jungle camp there. Who's that? Looking like a Silas. But no. Silas pops across. Dude, do they look for this or not? No. He gets that mid lane shove, moves into the river, gets a control ward down. And this is a pretty common pattern when you're playing the Nocturne mid. Shove, move into the river. You don't actually have to commit for the roams, guys. This is something that I learned from playing a lot of Twisted Fate. You can shove, move out of vision, and your laner will spam ping your bot lane and your top lane. And that will create them to have a different play style to how they want. And that simply sometimes is enough pressure. You don't have to get the kills. Then the Nocturne, the, um, the Renekton's kind of too scared to move in, isn't he? The Noc will just get that tether and hunt him down. He's trying to get a freeze. I don't know how you're going to freeze against this. Watch this. He's going to move up. Gets the Q and he's just going to look at, look at the tier match shove, man. Like... Oh, he pops the ult. He's going to look for it. Ult across onto the Silas. Thank you very much. He's going to look for the Renekton here as well. No way. Don't do it to him. Volley Bear coming in. World's most unbalanced champion. Probably going to get the Lucian. And he's going to have to try and leg it. Does he get out? Has to flash. Gets out just. But having this wave clear and this shove, guys, it enables your jungler so well. When you have a jungle like Nidalee, think of Nidalee. Um, what's another jungle that can counter jungle really well? Um, Olaf. Just things that move into their jungle and just eat everything. Nocturne is perfect for that. Karthus, it does work. Picks up the scuttle, moves back into the mid lane. Dragon goes over to his side. Infernal, thank you very much. He's going to try and shove this lane. Probably could look for a base now. Now this guy, he likes to go cleaver early. There's another Nocturne in Korea who is Grandmaster who goes Electrocute. And he just goes pretty much Tiamat into Duskblade. But this guy goes Black Cleaver. And of course, with your Lethal Tempo, your Instant Autos, um, you're just shredding them to fucking zero armor, bro. And you'll eat them up. He loves this item. The cooldown reduction is spectacular. Has great synergy. And he loves it. The movement speed, of course, also will help you chase them down when you get that tether. You pretty much just want to queue the wave, move in, get an auto attack with your passive, team at. Congratulations, you have now successfully shoved the wave and can move top or bot. Or to the jungle camp. Hell yeah. Red buffs up. No way, don't do it to him. He's thinking about it. His ult's not up yet though. 20 seconds till the ultimate. But you see how you have that like 10 second window when you shove that late? Because, dude, a Renekton cannot keep up with this wave clear. There's no way in hell. No one can keep up with this wave clear. Maybe a Victor when he has upgraded E or something. I don't know. Skirmish topside, breaking out. Currently 10 kills to 10, but his team has a 2k gold lead-ish. Renekton picks up a kill on the Karthus. He's pretty salty about that, I would be. Move back mid. We got ultimate. Are we going to go bot lane? Uh, are we going to go bot lane? We're going to go jungle camp. Oh, I want to go for it. Oh, the Silas has appeared. Should be a free kill. Let's watch how he combos. E tethers, ignites. All oh, the Gragas Qs. Pops the ult. Comes in. Does he get it? Yes, he does. And he's going to keep trying to run him down. Alice the combos. And he just plays it slow, man. Kites it out. Spell shield came in handy, and now he's going to shove the lane, and he'll probably have Black Cleaver soon. Oh, this champ is so basic. Like, literally three or four games, and you understand how to play in the champion. And your tower. Dude, you, you will be surprised how quickly you take these plates in the mid lane. If you put your enemy laner on a bad shove, on a bad base, just go for the plates, man. You can usually get two or three plates in the early game.
give me a little bit of gold. Well, quite a lot of gold, actually. Oh, Skirmish gonna break out here. Okay, bad Q, but he still gets it. Tether onto the Silas, grabs that. Rag is thinking about it, but he has no gap close at this point. Ultimate is not up. Q still far out, Callista, really? He'll just get that solo tower. Really? He shall. Base now, he's sitting on a 550 gold bounty. I'd be careful if I'm him. Gonna be a cleaver. I do notice he like he really likes to go Zerka Greaves. Yep. He really loves these attack speed on the Zerka Greaves. He almost never, like he'll sometimes go Ninja Tabai if he needs them, but almost never. And almost never mercs because you have that inbuilt spell shield and you're gonna get a Edge of Night. So not only do you have your W spell shield, you have your Edge of Night, which blocks an incoming spell as well. So good luck hitting this Nocturne, guys. Just good luck. And you get so much health as well. Thedeus was right all along. Like, I honestly think Nocturne is one of the better mid lane picks at the moment. But nobody has the balls to play him because... I don't know. Full AD comp is usually pretty annoying, but you shred. It doesn't really matter. Whenever enemy picks Nocturne mid, I go Lissandra. I really thoroughly enjoy Lissandra into Nocturne mid. It usually works pretty well. There's a couple of other like counters, but honestly, nothing really does well into Nocturne mid. Probably gonna get the tower, but he'll die for this. Does he go one for one? Oh, dude, how close was that? But he drops that huge bounty over the volley bear. I don't know about that one, dog. And they're gonna grab grab the top lane tower, dude. They're only three k. They're only three kills behind, but they are six k gold. In the hole, all from CS. Traded Dirk picked up. Going for that Edge of Night next, guys. Renekton should be able to get another kill here. Yep. Coming out of base now, guys. When you drop the mid lane tower, you want to be getting into a side lane as soon as humanly possible when playing Nocturne mid. Seriously. Almost no champion can match you, and as soon as they come out, you pop that ult and run them down. It's so good, and you can clear the jungle camps as well. Clear bot, clear the jungle camps, look for ult, look to cut across, vision denial. It's a simple thought process in your head, what should I be doing? It's usually one of those. You connect, you can see how it traces him and he gets that movement speed. God damn, he's quick. It's the tether. Dude, what? Dude, my tethers are never that long. Spell shields the stun. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? This guy's glitched. I never, I would never, what the hell? Goddamn quick. Usain Bolt. Gets the kill. Gonna move back down. Ultimate is up in five seconds. Dragus has no hourglass. Wouldn't be surprised if he just pulls the trigger and goes for it. Come on, be a man. Be a man. Go for it. Holding the Q means he's looking for that all in 100%. You can, guys, when you ultimate, just watch when he combos. When he ultimates, you'll see his Q is put out before he lands. You can Q mid-air. Always be doing that because it'll make your Q, your, your ultimate actually hit more as well. So please do that. Pretty basic combos for Nocturne. The combo usually is R, Q as you're just about to land into Tiamat with a spell shield with your W into a tether and run them down. It's a pretty simple combo. You shouldn't, like, it's almost... You can't really fuck it up, let's be honest. Bolts. Coming out. He queues afterwards, surprisingly. I guess I'm onto an Ezreal. Wanted to see which direction he'd go to. Perhaps a double kill. Pops the heal. Come on. Too tanky, bro. Drag a support. Everybody bails and they're gonna get mid lane inhibitor. They actually buffed Nocturne in this patch, but buffed his damage to camps, I believe. It was a weird, it was really was a weird buff. They wanna try and get Nocturne back into the jungle. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I think Nocturne is a better mid laner. 
I think he's a better top laner than a jungler. I think Nocturne is super underrated. As that Edge of Night has the stopwatch, guys. This is his setup every game. That stopwatch will get used. He'll turn it into a uh, Guardian Angel. Then afterwards, you have a wide selection of items you can go for. You can go more Lethality with a Dusk Blade. You can go a Death Dance for a little bit of Jewel. Alt, Q, comes out as he's gliding. E, Tether, doesn't quite land. One billion movement speed. He has Q, come on, come on, come on, come on. p -mat. oh, he misses. He griefed really hard on that all-in, if everybody's honest. And he'll probably, though the stopwatch comes out. Double feared. Oh, has the flash out. Pulis is going to clean up, baby. He injured that so hard, guys. Please don't copy what he did there. The comeback. This is the comeback. Dude, look at him try and snipe with Qs. He's so greedy. Lucian coming in. Bully Bear can't kite at all. Mm -hmm. Gonna drop into the side lane. Got a little bit of pressure. His ultimate's on such a short cooldown at the moment. Only 10 seconds till it's up again. He'll probably end up getting a BF sword because this is gonna be turned into a GA as soon as possible. Um, you wanna be upgrading the team at last that ravenous hydra Alt. looking for it looking he's looking also guys ult in boom grabs that kill on her neck then also guys your ultimate doesn't have to be used it's like a lee sin q you don't always have to do it you can pop your ultimate so the enemy's in darkness but then they just start sprinting back to base they can't see jack shit they panic let's say you add a baron Baron's 4k health, your team's rushing it. Pop that, pop your darkness. Enemy team just literally panics. They'll all just start jumping across the wall. They'll just run back to base. You can use your ultimate as a zoning tool. Just ult and just run. Ult and just do nothing and they'll run. Good luck hitting him with a Carthus ultimate. I'm gonna try and clear the camp. Ooh, zoning. The solution's so greedy, bro. I respect it. They get boy, that blue buff looking juicy. Such a gentleman gives it to the Carthus. I would never. In their base, got 1.6k. Probably gonna sell refillable into the BF sword. Okay, I'm a prophet. And that's gonna be into a GA, guys. Pretty standard setup. No dusk blade to be seen for the one shot lethality. He doesn't like it. He wants the health. Wants the cooldown reduction. You don't necessarily need the lethality to get the one shots, do you? He can still almost get them. But then he can survive so much longer. The ultimate's back up. I want to see him look for it. Alt in, looking for the Gragas. Spell shields that. Gets the... Dude. It actually takes him a little bit to kill that Gragas. What the hell? He's a beefy boy. You can see how that lethal tempo goes with the Black Cleaver. Every auto you're shredding their armor down. And they've got roughly a 10k gold lead. Looking for the hard engage, the one last desperation fight. Salas with Alistair, man, that is OP as hell. Looking in, looking for the Renekton. Thank you very much. Eighth kill of the game. Ninth kill of the game. Can he get 10 kills? Pops the Herald, they're gonna go for the close here. This probably will be game, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed the review. Go and play a game. Like, play like a game or two in normals of Nocturne. Copy this style and then bring it into ranked. You really need to know how to play the early game to make it work perfectly. You need to know when you can go for solo kills and when you need to respect the opponent and wait for your items. Um, but obviously that's going to be up to you. So pretty much, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Good luck in your ranked games. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.